children this class is for standard 5 and the subject is mathematics in this class we are going to cover chapter number 4 factors exercise 4.3 topics covered in this class are prime and composite number finding the prime factorization of the given number today we learn prime and composite number before we begin let us understand what do we mean by natural numbers the set of numbers 1 2 3 4 5 etc are called as natural numbers natural numbers can be divided into two categories which are called as prime number and composite number before we proceed ahead remember that any given number will always have one and itself as its factor let us first discuss what is called as prime numbers the number having only two factor that is one and the number itself is called as a prime number for example factors of 3 or 1 and 3 factors of 7 or 1 and 7 factors of 11 or 1 and 11 therefore the numbers 3 7 11 are called as prime numbers in general 2 3 5 7 11 13 14 and etc are called as prime numbers now let us learn what is meant by composite number a number having more than two factors is called as composite number for example the factors of 6 are 1 2 3 and 6 the factors of 14 are 1 2 7 and 14 similarly the factors of 20 are 1 2 4 5 10 and 20 therefore the numbers 4 6 8 9 10 12 14 etc are called as composite numbers the important points to remember Number one is neither prime nor composite, as it has only one factor. Number two is the smallest and the only even prime number. Similarly, number three is the smallest odd prime number. A Greek magician named Eratosthenes found a method. to find the prime numbers between 1 to 100 the method is called as sieve of eratosthenes let us see how this work write the number 1 to 100 in a grid as shown here the first number is 1 which is always unique it is neither prime nor composite so leave the number 1 the next number is 2 which is a prime number so we insert a green box around it and color all the numbers divisible by 2 in green the next number is 3 which is also a prime number we put a blue box around 3 and color all the numbers divisible by 3 in blue similarly we do up to 10 and color all the boxes which are divisible by the given number the numbers which are not divisible is particularly mentioned in white color that is in the first row 2 3 5 and 7 are the prime numbers in the second row 11 13 17 19 are prime numbers and so on 
numbers then two numbers have no common factors other than one the numbers are called as coprime numbers or relatively prime numbers for example 14 and 15 both the numbers have only one common factor which is 1 therefore 14 and 15 are called as coprime numbers twin prime numbers pair of prime numbers with a difference of 2 is always called as twin prime numbers for example 5 and 7 here 5 is a prime number and 7 is also another prime number and the difference between these two prime numbers is 2 similarly 11 and 13 11 is a prime number 13 is a prime number the difference is 2 17 and 19 17 is a prime number and 19 is a prime number so 17 and 19 are called as twin prime numbers let us move on to the next main topic which is called as prime factorization all composite numbers can be split into their prime factors the method of writing a number as multiples of prime number is called as prime factorization prime factorization can be done using two methods the first method is called factor tree method and the second method is called as short division method exercise 4.3 fourth question using the prime factorization method find the prime factors of the following numbers e question 104 we can find the prime factorization method in two ways the first method is called as factor tree method factor tree method is nothing but split the given composite number starting with the smallest prime number we know that the smallest prime number is 2 therefore 2 into 52 which is equal to 104 now we got 2 as the prime number and 52 is the composite number again split the composite number starting with the smallest prime number therefore 2 into 26 which is equal to 52 26 is composite number again split it we get 2 into 13 here 2 and 13 are the prime numbers the next method is called as short division method in this method start with the smallest prime number check if the number 104 is divisible by 2 since 104 is even number we can easily divide write the quotient below 48 check if the quotient 52 is divisible by 2 if yes then divide and write the quotient below 52 which is equal to 26 now again check whether 26 is divisible by 2 divide and write the quotient which is equal to 13 now again check whether 13 is divisible by 2 if not check if the quotient is divisible by the next higher prime number which is 3 5 7 11 13 and etc since 13 is a prime number we can divide only against 13 which is equal to 1 now write all the prime numbers that is prime factors of 104 equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 13 thank you children